Hey guys, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is Saturday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which means it's time for a Facebook Live video. And I'm going to just be sure I'm transmittalating over here off to the left. I've got the new and, in air quotes, improved Facebook up. I decided to not fight with it tonight, so hopefully something will happen here shortly. It looks like I'm going out, but hey, Roz, I'm not seeing myself, so let me just refresh here on the screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Now I'm going to see if I can raise it up so I can see you. Oh, there it is. It's like working and stuff. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jean. Hi, Amy. Hey, Faith. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah, this one's kind of smack in my wheelhouse. I wasn't even going to pretend to make it clean and simple today. I just decided, no, not going to do it. I want to make, I want to play with my collage, baby. I want to play with my collage. Hi, Karen. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Jean. Appreciate you from joining from Delaware. Hi, Barbara. All right. Kathy. Yay, you made it. Debbie. All righty. And hey, sis, how are you? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I do want to tell you before we start, just a reminder that I've still got my paper and packaging special going on. It goes through Tuesday evening. And all you have to do to be able to pick any of these items there's a whole bunch of them more counting than i want to do right now so there's a whole bunch you can choose from with a 50 dollars plus order retail before shipping in tax of course and this is in addition to your normal ordering gift and in addition to gathering up peppermints so it's a great way to get started you can you can have some fun with it and get world of good memories and more card pack to make different kinds of cards or you can get some envelopes uh, for mailing for Christmas or gold mini pizza boxes. Those are always fun. So do take advantage of this only a couple more days um, Sunday Monday Tuesday three more days. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh, This is the front you can tell because it's you know on the front and then on the inside I went very simple just a sentiment and a stamped off um, leaf and Some pretty good colors my colors really and this is the Brightly Gleaming Specialty DSP, which is showing back in stock, um, should be this week, at sometime this week. So if you were waiting on it, um, if you've already ordered it while it was back ordered, it should be coming in and, and heading out to you when um, your name comes up in the queue. Or you should be able to find it again on the online store and purchase some if you don't have it already. Okay, so let's get started. And I have got, I've done some card cuts. Everything will be on the card, the uh, blog tomorrow. Let me go ahead and uh, score and fold this right quick. I done forgot to do that. Uh-huh, did, I done did. I done did, forgot to do that. It was beautiful all day, and then like at about, oh, I don't know, four o'clock, it started to rain here. So, of course, when it's gonna get to be time to go out and do the horses, of course it would have to rain, why Why not? I mean, don't we all love slogging through mud and muck to get to horses to do? All right, so this is a crumb cake card base, and I'm going to start, though, with some Cajun Craze cardstock and a piece of In the uh, in Good Taste DSP, which, oh, by the way, is one of the papers on the DSP sale, which goes just through the end of the month, which is like a week from today. Uh, so 15% off, which is a pretty good deal. It's a great time to get stocked up on paper. There's Christmas paper, there's everyday paper, there's masculine paper, there's flowery paper. There's all sorts of paper. Okay, so get you some paper. Get you some paper. Get you some paper and get a free uh, paper and packaging gift from me. So there you go. Okay, so I have got that adhered. Now I used what is actually this die right here in the stitched rectangles die set. So it's this one, you can see it nested in there. And I cut three pieces of that brightly gleaming DSP. I cut two of the pumpkin one and one of the whatever that is. And I'm just going to adhere them to the card front like so with liquid glue. So here's a tip for you when you are doing these kinds of things and you want um, either three or five or however many is going on your card front, start with the middle one first. Get the middle one as lined up with the center of your card front as you can, and then go off of that one to get the others in place, okay? So that looks about like halfway, and I could actually go, you know, completely crazy and do this, at which time I would know that 
two and a half plus an eighth. So two and five eighths is about the middle of my card, right? And that looks really just about right. So I'm just now making sure it's kind of lined up. And then I'm going to use the liquid glue again and add snow. Oh, no, too early for snow. It can't have snow. I'm just going to add these other two pieces about the same distance apart. Now, the sketch I'm using, this is the sketch for pa the paper players tomorrow. It has these three elements clustered more towards the center of the card stock, card base, versus all equally spread out. Okay, so that's why they're kind of close together and this gap is smaller than this gap. All right, but I'm gonna try to make the other gap just about the same. And and then even if it isn't perfect, guess what? We're driving on. Yeah. But it's close enough. I mean, I don't think most people's recipients are going to get out their micrometer to measure these things. I just don't. Okay? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get us a... Um, Let's get a sentiment going. I've got a piece of very vanilla here. And what I'm going to do... So I'm going to use this large leaf image. Hey, Julie. Appreciate you joining. We just got going, so you're doing good. Um, you would get your micrometer out. Well, then I'm not sending you this card. So, meh. Meh. Uh, as it, uh, a minute ago, it was slated to go to you. But now, no. Because you're going to be all dissing me like, oh, Mary, that is sixteenths, a sixteenth of an inch off. And that is not okay. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm inking that in crumb cake, and I'm going to stamp it off once on my handy grid paper, and then I'm going to stamp it in the middle of this piece of very vanilla cardstock. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Cajun Craze and add... I mean, you just told me you would use a micrometer on my card, and I am the mean one? I don't think so, unless we have very different ideas of mean, which is possible. It's very possible. I think we've had this discussion. Okay, so I'm going to take Season of Thanks, and I'm just going to put it in the middle-ish, where it kind of fits, of the leaf. Like so. And then I'm going to turn around and cut it out with the matching die in the amazing gathered leaves. I got to tell you something about this stamp set and this bundle, you guys. This is actually a returning set. So it was in um, last, uh, last fall's um, holiday catalog. And it, it kind of went on hiatus. And it returned in this mini catalog. So... What's unusual about that is oftentimes when a stamp set and die come back, they even if they were bundled the first time, they come back as not bundled this time, the second time. But um, Stampin' Up! has provided this in a bundle again. So that's pretty cool. You can get it with a 10% savings. So you can get this bundle for $38.50 instead of $43, which is, you know, five bucks is five bucks, right? Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out. I'll be right to the back. Not really going very far, just kind of turn it around. And we're going to cut this out so that we have a leaf sentiment. I like doing that. All right, here we go. And I've already pre cut the pieces for my collage. So we can just go ahead and kind of start building. So there's my sentiment. I know. This uh, is quite possibly one of my favorite sets ever, especially the dies. Because, oh, by the way, look. Now, really, if it had this die in it, it would be the most perfectest die set ever to have walked the Stampin' Up! planet. Okay? But these are actually the little berries from the poinsettia dies. So if you don't have the poinsettia dies... Um, get it. <laughs> These are cut out of very vanilla. Okay, so I've made a few of those. And then I took each of these leaf dies, leaf dies. What's cool about them is they cut them out and they emboss them at the same time. And look how gorgeous they are with metallic 
brush metallic cardstock. I mean, really, <laughs> really. Metallics take these these dies so well. So this is all one swipe. It embosses all those uh, veins and it cuts at the same time. So easy peasy, and it is one of us. Thank you, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that so much. Yes, uh, Jenna, you do want this bundle. I promise you do. You really, 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 really do. Okay, so I've used two. Can you see the difference? Let me look and see if you're able to see that. Sure. You can see I used the dark one, which I call bronze, and then this is kind of like the lighter one that isn't gold. So I'm thinking it's maybe the copper one. In a previous lifetime, I would have called that champagne, but that's not what they're calling it. So truthfully, it doesn't matter I would just use two different shades so that you get a little bit of differentiation in your leaves. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, reach back for one thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our collage. How much do you guys love these gold hoops? Serious. Not many embellishments do I purchase a second or third package of in the course of a, of a catalog, but I have gone through a few gold hoops. They are like perfect, okay? Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have that be my base, and then I'm just going to build up my collage. And when you're building a collage, and I'm trying to help you guys learn that collages are easy, okay? Collages are easy. All it is is it takes a minute until it fits your eyeball and makes your brain go, ah, there it is. And a couple of little tips. Overlap the edge of your card front, your card front, not your card base, the card front. Uh, put some of your elements above and some below. Now I'm putting all my berries below just because I, I want them to have a little more support on this card. So I'm going to put them like that and then we'll put the kind of play with the hoop um, and I know that my sentiment is going to go roughly here, right? So I'm going to build leaves around, around that. And I'm just going to try to kind of mix up the colors and the shapes a little bit. And again, go ahead and overlap. Overlap is not the right word. Lap over, fall out, stay outside the lines of your card front will make it a very nice um, composition. But on these leaves, you can put some on top and some on bottom. For these, I think I'll put um, on the bottom. And all you really wanna do, at, at one point, you're gonna get it where your, your eye says, that's it, right there. And that's when you stop. And you say, oh, there it is. Oop. There it is. I think that's a song. Isn't that a song? Is that a song? I don't know, but I think that's a song. And then I would take a picture of it so that I could take it apart and get it back the way I had it. That's how I would do that. But you know, you do you do you and do it however you want. So I think we'll see what would that look like. I kind of like that. I'm gonna pull the whole mess down a little further into the corner there like that. Okay, so that's a good reason to take a picture of it, um, Faith, is just take a picture and then you can, you can orient yourself to things. Like for example, I can see here, uh, this paper I've chosen is very handy because it's got a line here so I can, when I look at my picture, I can say, oh yeah, look, I need this little berry lined up on that line or wherever it turns out when I finally stop messing with it, right? So it helps if you can have some landmarks on your card so that you can put things back. And then what I'm going to do with one last one is it's going to go like right here and then it's going to be part of the um, this little decoration right here, okay? So that looks pretty nice to me. I'm kind of liking it. I'm going to pull this out a little bit like that. All right. All right. So let's pick this up and pick this up and I'll pick this up. Okay. And now I'm just going to use liquid glue to put it all back together. Daryl, I make it look easy because I've done a bunch of them and because it's not, it really isn't that hard. So here's some tips. 
cut more pieces than you think you might need, right? Because the, in, in Mary's world, what makes a collage beautiful is m more stuff, right? It wants extra layers. It wants extra textures. Um, so I, I like to have plenty to work with and I'd rather have stuff left over and say, okay, I've got, I've got the makings of my next card. And I do, I, st I have a little, I have a little doohickey right here and I keep, keep pieces and parts. Like I would have already had that sentiment if I had wanted it with Bumblebee, but I didn't. So, so I've got all sorts of little pieces and parts and you can keep them and, and no kidding. Eventually I'll probably just dump this out, but for the time being I keep them and then if I need an extra little piece I I've got it Okay, and the other thing I recommend is you can see that these are clustered together So I pick them both up at the same time with my um, Tweezers my third hand I like to call it And if you sit and yak too much with your glue open, if you do that, then your glue does not come out. It does not come out. Come out. Okay. But it's going to come out now. There it is. Okay. Don't get carried away, but you need to have some, right? I mean, it has to have some glue. All right. And then we're going to put it like right there. Give it a little squish to get it hooked down. And we'll pick up this little grouping. I got lucky, a lot, a lot of groupings here. A lot of groupings. I like groupings. Okay, so you guys, I gotta tell you, a big thing happened here today. So I've been, the last week or so, in the mornings when I go out to do the horses, I've been um, pulling them all out of their stalls and all of all both of them out of their stalls and grooming them and putting tack on and taking them down and doing some groundwork I've been lying to them a little bit I've told them it was just because I love them and want them to be pretty and have a good time but the truth is is it was a I was on a mission <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and today for the first time in possibly 10 years we rode our horses and it was when I got on Sarah today, it felt like I was getting home. It was very, very nice. I mean, we didn't ride for very long because they're out of shape and, okay, I'm not going to lie, I'm <laughs> rolling on some leave right now, but, um, man, it was nice. It was so nice. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking a couple of glue dots and I'm sticking them under my um, hoop where I know that they're gonna be covered by the sentiment, right? Cause I, I'm, you could still see them if, if it wasn't. So I know that where I've put them is covered. And this one is just being a persnickety, persnickety thing. It's not wanting to adhere because apparently I was yakking and not pressing, not doing any pressing. You got to do a little pressing and give that glue time to set up. But I didn't because I was in a hurry, okay? All right, now I'm gonna take this sentiment. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get, I'll have to get Wayne to take pictures because, you know, there's some, nice. there's some um, muscle memory that you have to kind of get back and it, I have lost a lot of it, just saying. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this leaf petal piece under the hoop and leave the rest of it out on top of the hoop, like that. And this one will be on top as well. Okay. And I think the reason that it wasn't wanting to adhere is because it knew I wanted it somewhere else. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit of that's more better. And the glue gives you a few minutes, you guys. You can play with it a little bit. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now, I'll take my last lift. My last lift. Oh my gosh, Brooke, have you, have you been, is your internet out? I mean, what in the world? That's a long time. So I'm just going to adhere that over the onto the sentiment with some liquid glue. 
folding it a minute so that it can so that I don't repeat my mistake and while that's drying I'm gonna get myself a length of linen thread and yeah I'm gonna end up you I'm cutting a lot of this off but it just makes my life a whole lot easier if I have extra when I'm trying to do public bow tying I'm gonna take an acorn trinket There we go. And I'm gonna run these two ends through the little doohickey at the top, like so. We'll cut that off. Not off, but in half. And then I'm going to tie a bow, like a so, and get it kind of straightened out. So I've got two lengths, two pieces of linen thread together to make a double loop. Yeah, it is very, it is very frustrating when you want to speak, even if it's just chat speak and you can't. All right, come on now. Come on now. Public bow making. What will humble a crafter quicker than anything? Making a bow in public. Just saying. All right, and then I'm just gonna adhere that right there with a glue dot. With a glue dot, roll the bow to there. All right, and we'll lay that on like so. There. And then we can cut those off a little bit. That wasn't too far off. But it's so much easier to get a bow, you guys, when you've got a little extra linen thread. Just saying. Trust me on this. Okay, now I'm going to take a few um, gold metallic pearls and just tuck them. Here's another collage tip. I like to put little embellishments, something, just a little something. It's not going to be huge. And I like to drop them off of my tweezers. And and tuck them into the collage. So instead of being way out here, tuck them right up into the collage area, right against the leaves. That adds to kind of a feeling of abundance. And I think abundance is a primary requirement for any good collage. It should look abundant when you see it. Okay. So you can see I have leaves under my hoop. I have a leaf over my hoop. I have a leaf on top of the hoop. Um, and then I've got the berry the berries layered underneath. Okay, so I've got multiple layers and that helps to create my collage You could also although I didn't you could have I could have um, Popped this sentiment on some dimensionals and that would have raised it up But as it is it's got enough up and downness because of the over the hoop under the hoop piece and it's ready to go All right, so let's go ahead and do our innards. We're gonna do the innards and I've got a piece of very vanilla. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. I'll get some on the front, don't worry. There's still card to make, not to worry. And what I'm gonna do is I've inked it with crumb cake and I'm gonna stamp it off. And I'm gonna stamp it off again. And then I'm gonna stamp it a third time right in the middle of my very vanilla panel. So it's quite pale, you can hardly see it. But that's okay because I'm going to put my sentiment over the top. And if the um, leaf is too dark, you really can't read it. And that becomes, you know, what's the point, excuse me, of putting a sentiment if you're not going to be able to read it? So you might as well just put nothing. But you know what? Speaking of putting nothing, you could, in fact, just put that in the middle of your card and leave it an open note card, right? It could just have that, and then you could just write your message over the top. But this one is going to have for, it was going to be for Amy, but isn't anymore, this sentiment, like that. And then, because I believe that embellishments like little pearls can go anywhere, I'm going to put one right here, like so. Okay. Okay. Leave on top of the boob. What does he think you're watching? My goodness. <laughs> It's always funny when I hear that husbands are listening, because then I, all of a sudden, 
y'all don't make me nervous, but for some reason, husbands make me nervous. I don't know. Mostly because I think a lot of them just don't understand this whole crafty thing that we do. Why we love it so much and why we have so much, so many toys. So many toys. I mean, tools. They don't really understand. Always. Sometimes you get lucky and they do, but not always. Okay. Now we're going to adhere this inside our crumb cake card base. Hopefully right side up. I know you're shocked, but I will. Give me a second. I still got to get the front on. Hello. However, it is always weird if I don't use dimensionals on the card front itself. I know. Sometimes I try to make up for it, but like on the next card, I'll use double stacks. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So now, speaking of dimensionals, let's put a few on our card front. And we'll pop it on. Oh. Uh -huh. And there we go. Oh, I need one. Unamas. Unamas. You guys, I'm loving my little Stampin' Storage carousel. It is just so nice. I'm having to remind myself that if I see something on the opposite side of it, I don't have to, like, reach over and try to rustle it out of there. I can just, oh, I don't know, spin it like, like it's a thing. Here, I gotta put this back on. Hang on. Ah! These dimensionals all wanna play on this card, I can tell. But they don't get to, they have to wait their turn. Okay. Uh, Jenny, I have Halflinger mares. They are Austrian light draft ponies. So they're not very big, they're about, um, well, Sarah's about 14 one and change, and Katie's about 14 hands. So not very big, but they're very stout and very strong, sturdy animals, and they're they are fun. They're like the Australian shepherds of the pony world. They're fun. Actually, they're way more like they're actually more like horses than ponies, really. All right, so we're popping that on with some dimensionals, and they will get in your lap for a peppermint, <laughs> and and have. Okay, so there's that. Let's. Um, Close this up, Mary. I've decided, my husband and I have decided we need to get some Prevagen, that stuff that they advertise on TV for memory. <laughs> because we just, it's crazy. What did I look for today? Oh, I was looking for my phone for like an hour. And it was just, it was under my catalog next to the chair where I had been working. <laughs> okay, sure. All right, so I'm just going to stamp this leaf here in crumb cake and that's all I'm doing to the front of this one thank you guys are they friendly oh my goodness yes they are their loves they are really really we call them pocket ponies they really want to just if you go out in the pasture they're coming to you really it which is wonderful um, so they're they're good girls and they're chatty they are probably the chattiest horses I've ever known <laughs> Katie in particular is very jealous and you'll see a picture tomorrow. I've got them on the wall um, tied up and if I do anything with Sarah Katie who's behind her by two stalls she's going <laughs> just talking and talking and talking like come on it's my turn do something to me hurry oh wait why are you bringing the saddle I'm not sure that's what I meant oh no I wanted a spa day not a work day but I think they actually enjoyed it we had not ridden them for years because we had Bo and Bo you know we had two of us and three horses and that's always that's not a good mix and Bo was old enough to not really be rideable anymore anyway and so we would take the girls if we took the girls he would stand in the barn and just scream bloody murder and they I know he was telling them the wolves were getting them or something and they would just have a conniption fit so it was nice today to be able to ride and not have somebody having a conniption in the barn. All right, so there we go. A beautiful fall card. I really do love this quite a lot. You know what, though? I'm not going to lie. This one, this is bothering me. Do you see what is bothering me here? You see that? I don't like that. And there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Truly, there's nothing wrong with it. But I don't like it. And so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... 
I'm going to play with it just a little bit. Yep, I'm going to do just that right there. And let's look. I'll make everybody happy. I'm going to add, I'm going to do this with a dimensional. I'm going to do this with a dimensional. Remember, the card isn't done until you say it's done. Right? Okay. And here, they talk like me. Yes, they talk just like me. Uh-huh. And they talk to me a lot. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick up this bow. And I'm going to slide that so that the stem is under that leaf right there. There we go. And then make sure the bow is up on top of it. There. That makes me happier on this one. So it's a little different than the original, but I got my spacing different on my um, on these leaves, and so I just fixed it to make it to make it make me happy. Make your collage make you happy, and it will make everybody else happy except Amy, who's going to measure everything with a micrometer. All right, guys, I appreciate you spending part of your weekend with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of it, and that uh, you'll come back on Thursday for. Uh, YouTube video, 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.